Hello guys, in this video I want to show you another unofficial option for Laravel starter kits. You could use filament. This is my tweet with the idea that you could use filament instead of starter kit and that idea took off with more than 200 likes on Twitter and also a few people in the comments on YouTube pointed the same thing. So I will demonstrate. So we install a new Laravel project with Laravel new Laravel, we choose non-starter kit and we proceed with the default installation without any starter kit up front. As a result, we have default homepage without login and register. Next, we install filament on top. This is the default installation. I copy and paste and we'll just change filament to latest 3.3. It will ask for the ID, which actually corresponds to the URL. So you may change that, for example, to auth instead of admin. And that's it. Now, the home page doesn't change, but if we go to slash auth, we land on filament login. And now there are a few things to do to tie them both together. First, in the welcome blade, if we have route login, which we do in our case for filament, so we can even remove that if statement and then based on authentication we can put the link to auth dashboard or instead of route login slash auth slash login so we change the register as well as we do have register in filament we just haven't enabled that yet we will do that in a minute so yeah now we have the links and now if we refresh the home page we have login and register and we click login and we are in filament next on filament side there are a few things we can enable in the auth panel provider by default it's admin panel provider but we've chosen the auth id and the url which you can also customize here but what we need to do is enable so registration and then profile management like this and now if we refresh we have registration link sign up for account which also works from the home page so we get back to home page click register and we can sign up for account we fill in the form with fake filler we sign up we are in the filament dashboard including profile management which you had just enabled it's smaller than the default laravel starter kits but you can customize it on the filament level and then proceed with your code with filament but not as admin panel but instead as the main functionality of your application and then enable and disable functions based on roles and permissions so regular users would see one set of menu items and admins would see their own menu items and then from there you dive deeper into filament documentation and learn more about filament or you can take my course on laravel daily filament 3 from scratch also i have a separate channel called filament daily with more than 200 videos and also i have a filamentexamples.com website with a lot of tutorials and examples of ready-made project functionalities and examples with source code available as you can see i'm a pretty big fan of filament myself so yeah you can use filament not as admin panel dashboard but instead of laravel starter kit it's not an official starter kit it's not a community starter kit so you cannot install that with laravel new using syntax but you can do that in the way i've shown in this video what do you think would you use filament in this way let's discuss in the comments below that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos